Welcome to this episode of Gender Equality Talks or GE Talks as we call them. We are indeed honored to have with us today a very special guest, Ms. Ashrafun Nahar Misti, Founder and Executive Director of Women with Disability Development Foundation in Bangladesh. Misti Apa, as we lovingly call her, is an award-winning women's rights activist. She is also a member of international organizations like Asia Pacific Women with Disabilities United and the Association for Women's Rights in Development. Welcome, Ms. Tiapa. We are really very proud to have you with us today. And you have done commendable work in raising the issue of women with disabilities. From your experience, how and why women with disabilities are more at risk of violence? Actually, uh, women and girls with disabilities have uh, lots of uh, limitations and uh, they face multiple discrimination against them um, through the uh, life over life. Uh, and uh, it's continue actually from the family. And then when they go through the society, the community people, and the uh, institutions, all the um, sectors uh, they don't have the disability understanding, so they uh, don't show the respectful behavior or attitude uh, towards uh, girls uh, or women with disabilities who come uh, forward. So uh, women and uh, girls with disabilities face uh, uh, multi forms uh, of violence against them. Like uh, when uh, any girls and women with disabilities um, hear uh, the negative words uh, and also uh, face the bullying that time, uh, she uh, feeling the mental uh, torture. And also sometimes uh, the women and girls with disabilities who are uh, belonging with very poor family, uh, they have um, habitually uh, tortured, physically tortured by their family members, community people, and if even they go to other uh, places. So, most of the girls and women with disabilities who have uh, the bad experience uh, go through this type of torture, the mental torture, the physical torture. They uh, really broken uh, their all the confident level and uh, they are not feeling good to be a, a strong woman who can enjoy the life, uh, enjoy the environment, enjoy the uh, others uh, uh, created uh, the space. So uh, this is the main barrier actually for girls and women with disabilities. And I, I think that uh, if we can make inclusion in every step of our society, our country, then girls and women with disabilities will get uh, a space to explore their potential capacity, to involve with different uh, works, initiatives. And it will create a co-creation environment for all. Okay. So uh, what are these, uh, can you uh, talk of a few steps or share a few steps which will in increase the inclusion uh, of women with disabilities? Uh, any specific uh, steps which can be taken? And also what steps have been taken in Bangladesh to address the issue? Uh, actually, uh, if we see around the world, the developed country and developing country, there is different scenario uh, in the world. And if we uh, see the South Asian region, there also mixed uh, environment is uh, creating, like uh, Japan, Korea, and other Taiwan, they uh, create lots of initiatives for inclusion of girls and women with disabilities. Uh, and also other type of disabilities. And uh, in Bangladesh, Nepal, Sri Lanka, India, we are not much progress uh, for inclusion of girls and women with disabilities. So actually, um, uh, there is no any specific uh, space or sector where we can make inclusion. Actually, we need to make overall inclusion. Like right? if we want to uh, think that we will make the inclusion for education and institute, we obviously think for communication, 
um, environmental and other types of uh, inclusion because without uh, a communication system, girls and women with disabilities are not capable to reach the education uh, institutions. So we need to think about uh, these uh, things. And there is also uh, the communication system. Uh, when we talk about accessibility or inclusion, we mainly uh, think that there could be a ramp and there could be a physical environment access, then uh, inclusion will have inclusion for um, uh, for uh, the uh, acceptance, inclusion for environment, inclusion for teaching system like this. So I want to focus on the overall inclusion uh, for persons with disabilities um, uh, is very important. It not yes. Always uh, think for inclusion is a human rights for girls and women with disabilities. Inclusion is the dignity for the activism. Inclusion is the um, powerful message for others that you are make your service forward. Okay, very well said, Mr. Appa, and so very true. Uh, just one last question. Uh, you have spoken so much about inclusion, but still we want your message for this year's International Day of Persons with Disabilities and also for 16 days of activism against gender-based violence. What is your message? Okay, I just want to give the message for 16-day uh, activism. Uh, please stop violence against uh, women including women and girls with disabilities. Please show your uh, positive attitude, behavior, and acceptance. Then it will be uh, reduce the violence okay. that is existing. And for the International Disability Day, my message is, this is um, uh, the rights for uh, people with disabilities especially women and girls with disabilities, you have to take more innovative ideas to incorporate girls and women with disabilities rights in your services. Thank you. And all women, all of us women have to unite for this. If, if women of and all genders have to unite to make your words come true. So many thanks, Ms. Tiapa, for finding time to share your valuable insights and deepen our understanding of the problems faced by women with disabilities. Friends, we were listening to Ashrafun Nahar Misti, founder and executive director of Women with Disabilities Development Foundation in Bangladesh. Goodbye till we meet again. Goodbye. Thank you. Bye. Thank you.